to the Last Walks vlog. Um, I'm here with the next in our series of View from the Stands videos where today I'm going to look at um, some reactions to the new signing of Alex Lacey from Yeovil. Um, first of all just a little bit about him, like I've just said he's, he's will be arriving from Yeovil um, when his contract expires at the end of June. Um, fairly young still, at 23 at the moment. Um, I believe he'll be 24 by the time the season starts. Um, but obviously, coming from Yeovil, um, having previously been at Luton, um, I know in between the two he's had quite a few loan spells at various clubs. Um, probably some, some in non-league, but that's expected of a young player. Um, he played, he played, well, most of the games for Yeovil last season. Um, forty-seven, um, and yeah, fifteen clean sheets, which is, um, which isn't too bad considering Yeovil didn't have an amazing season themselves. Um, but in comparison to our three, um, fifteen clean sheets seems like quite a lot. Um, but anyway, let's get straight into your tweets that have come in. Um, so first of all, from Josh Keeble, um, he says a proper Peter Taylor signing, looking forward to seeing what he can bring. Next Egan maybe. Um, well yeah, that's the hope. Um, since Egan left um, last summer we've been saying that we need to replace him properly um, and it was it's never has been done. Um, so with the defensive problems we had last season, um, defence was had to be top priority and at least we we're making an early move on that with this with this early signing in AC. Um, yeah, it does does seem a lot like a Peter Taylor signing. You know, you know, a young player um, up up and coming, um, looking to develop his career in the game. Um, and yeah, I look forward to seeing what he can bring to the table. Um, I don't think it can be much worse than what we see defensively last season. So he's hoping he can only improve us going forward. Um, next up, Georgie Box. Oh, he says promising. Looks as if we're building from the back. Something we've needed to do for a long time. Um, yeah, can't agree more. Like I just said, defence has to be priority this summer. Um, even the season we was where we, we was top of the league and in the playoffs for so long. Defensively, we weren't that good. Um, we conceded in most games, um, but we were just scoring a lot more to to put teams away. Um, and I mean, even last season. Our goal scored column wasn't too bad, um, whereas defensively we were the, we were the worst. So it's clear for all to see that that's where we've got to build from. Um, they say goals goals win win games, but clean sheets of what over the course of a season will bring you success, and, and there's, there's there's certainly plenty of evidence to back that up. So it is definitely the right thing and the sensible thing to do. That we are looking to build from the back this summer. Um, next up from Lee Clifton. He says, Yeovil Town Player of the Season last season, and John still rated him highly during his time at Luton Town, a very good signing. Um, yeah, it's always promising to see that just this season, he's, he he won a number of awards um, at Yeovil, so he's clearly had a very good season, even if the team as a whole hasn't. Um, and it's clear that he's, he's highly thought of. We obviously we signed Mark Byrne last summer, um, coming from Newport. Off the back of winning their player of the award, player of the year awards, I mean, he's been he's been all right in my opinion. I don't think he's been amazing um, to, to, to quite a lot of people. He's been really really good, um, but he's not been a, a terrible signing at all. Having won a player of the year award from League Two, um, but with defence being such an important position, um, and you don't win a player of the year award anywhere if you if you haven't got something about you. So. There clearly is talent there, um, and let's just hope that we can manage him and get the right players around him, that we can see it come out on a regular basis next season. Um, next up from Owen Stanley, he says, Good start for Peter Taylor. Lad looks prom uh, looks a good prospect up to Pennock to manage him well. Um, yeah, that's what quite quite a few people have been saying, that obviously with this, this new structure of Peter Taylor as director of football um, and Pennock as head coach, that... If it's Peter Taylor signing the players, we still need Pennock to have the ability to coach them and manage them properly and ultimately build and blend them into a winning football team, um, which is something he struggled to do with 
with the players he had last season. Obviously, a large number of them weren't his, but the results were really, really poor. Um, and he knows he's got to put that right. He knows the excuses have gone now. He's he's got this summer to, because I assume he will be in constant contact with Peter Taylor about the players he's looking to bring in. Um, so I don't think he'll be able to use the excuse of him not being his players, even though we have got a director of football. Um, but let's hope Pennock can learn, maybe learn from some mistakes he's made last season, um, and we'll, one with a new crop of players. Um, improve his own coaching methods and as a result see an improved Gillingham side um, next up from Ben Thompson he's put her promising things about him great to see we're sorting the defence out already next John Egan perhaps um, like Josh said um, let's hope he, he can be that Egan replacement we've been waiting for for the last year because um, if, if he to be honest if he's, if he's half as good as what Egan was we'll have a half decent player on our hands um, and yeah, again, it is, it is great to say that we're sorting the defence out and we've, we've made one really early signing because um, uh, apparently there were there were a number of teams who were looking at him and, and Coventry were apparently really keen over the last week or so. So we've, it's good to say that we've actually nipped in there for once and not been left left in the trail behind others. We've, we've, got, we've been proactive rather than reactive um, and got this one over the line nice and early and hopefully it's, it's a good starting point for us to us to build on over the summer with with more transfers that will obviously be needed to come in between now and August when the new season starts. Um, next up from Ali Gills, he says some fantastic, excellent, exactly what we need. Young Torn has a lot of experience considering his age. Hopefully, he can step up to League One football. Um, yeah, I, I said this um, when we did our potential signings video that experience doesn't necessarily mean you have to be old. Um, and yeah, for, for someone at the age of 23, he has already played, a, I think he's played over 80 um, games in the Football League. It might even be more than that, um, which you can't complain at for, for a 23-year-old. Um, yeah, so with, with the youth side of things, hopefully he's, he's quite athletic. He might be a bit more mobile than what we've got, maybe a little bit quicker. Um, height for a centre-half is, you, you can't turn your nose up at height for a defender. Um Hopefully it means he's going to be fairly dominant in the air. Um, something we've probably lacked since since we had leg here, really. Um, and yeah, the experience aspect is good. Um, so he's already learnt a lot in his career. Um, and hopefully, I, I personally don't think that the gap between League 1 and League 2 is that great anymore. So hopefully, having done so well this season in League 2, um, he'll be able to transmit that and make a smooth transition into League One football and quickly adapt and start treading out solid performances for ourselves. Um, next up from Lewis Hart, he says, haven't heard too much about him, but good reports from the Oval fans. Um, yeah, I'm not going to lie, I, I can't say I'd heard of him until the rumour came about yesterday. Um, so, reports from people who have seen him play on a regular basis is, is all we can really go off. But yeah, I've not seen a bad one about him. Um, so that can only bode well. It seems to be um, a total belief that he he was been an excellent player for them, um, and he's going to be really good for us. So, without knowing too much about him at the moment, until we see see him put on that Gillingham shirt for the first time, um, the early signs are promising for sure. Um, next up from Chris Rainbow says a leader in central defence, a defender good on the ball, well done to the management, let's hope that's the calibre of player we want. Um, yeah, I do I do personally think, um, especially with Peter Taylor back now, that we will be taking the approach of signing younger players again. Um, I know we, we do say that we need a lot more experience in this side, but it seems like we've not got an awful lot of money, so um, the U4 approach might might be the one we look to more. Um I could with young players that they do want to improve. That they do want to some some like Egan did. He he saw Gillingham as a platform to build his career further, which obviously ideally you don't want to be losing players after two years. But if that's the belief they have, you know that for those two years they are gonna give it absolutely everything to perform to their best of the ability so that they can get a move higher up the footballing pyramid. Um, in terms of leadership, I don't know whether whether he is a leader or not. I've not seen him play. Um. 
so I'll only have reports to go off on that. But the fact he played so many games at such a young age must suggest that he's got something about him. Um, and no, you don't. You don't have to. Again, you don't have to be old to be a leader to have a voice. Um, and I think a voice is something we we really need um, in the back four going into the next season. And I don't think any of the centre halves until Raymond come in. I don't think Aimer or Sharaja, Kargi were, were particularly vocal characters. Um, so that's something we certainly need to to work on um, going into next season. And let's hope let's hope that he can he can support that and be a part of that. Um, but lastly, from Alex Branch, he says must must have been on the radar and a decent deal was the overall apparently offered him a good one, um, good age, and their fans are gutted. Um, yeah, it's definitely a good age. Um, plenty of room for improvement, um, but having, as I've touched on, having played plenty of games in the football league already, to not be classed as inexperience. Um, yeah, obviously, off, uh, Yeovil did offer him a contract. So they were obviously impressed with him enough to want to try and keep him as much as they can. And yeah, like I said, the consensus from their fans is that they have all been really impressed with him, and they are disappointed to see him go. Um, I mean, just got a couple of tweets here that I've seen from the overall fans. One saying, all the best, Alex. You'll be missed here in Somerset. Good move. and sure you'll do well. Um, so, yeah, all, all positive stuff there. Um, Chris Hughes, again, congratulations. Thanks for all the hard work you did at Yeovil. Gutted you've gone. The only solid centre-back we had. Um, so, maybe that, even the fact they did keep 15 clean sheets and, and considering he was apparently the only solid centre-back they had, maybe that says a lot about him. Um, in the middle of that defence, that he can he can lead through his performances more than anything else. Um, and yeah, lastly, Don Gibson says, "Really sorry to see you go, Alex. A huge loss for Yeovil." Um, so yeah, again, they regard him as a huge loss. He's clearly clearly a good player for the level they were playing at. And like I said, I don't think the jump is is massive. There is there is a gap there. Don't get me wrong. Um, but it's not like going from the Championship to the Premier League, where it, it goes up ten, twenty, thirty fold. It's it's not on, it's not on on that on that scale at all. Um, and let's hope that their loss is, their loss is going to be our game for the next two years at minimum. Um, where we need a lot of new players in a, in a lot of positions. Um, centre back is the main one. Um, I, I believe we need four centre backs going into next season. Which obviously we've got Aima, we've now got Lacey, um, and let's hope that he's the start of, in my opinion, two more to come in um, between now and August. Maybe one again, maybe around Lacey's age, between 23, 25, um, and maybe one a bit more experienced, maybe in there, um, maybe from 26, 27 onwards. Um, and I think in, in terms of centre backs, that that'd leave us in a pretty good, com a pretty good position in compared to last season um, in that area. Um, but like I said, it's a good starting point, a nice early transfer to get us talking and get a, get get us a little bit excited after the disaster of last season. Um, but thanks for watching. Um, keep liking, keep subscribing, and lastly, up the jewels.